Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lee, if you guys did not know already. And today I'm coming to you guys with a little get ready with me. This is gonna be like a little get ready with me date night edition. So I've been like really addicted to thick white like wing liner and like a thick lash. I just really love this look with like the little glitter dots under my eyes i just think it's a really fun look and it's a really something cute that you could probably wear on a first date or if you're just going on a date with your boo something to um you know just something cute just to kind of switch it up i always do black liner so just i don't know one day i just decided let me do white and i've just been loving it ever ever since so that's just kind of what i showed you guys today and you know we had a little discussion you know some 2020 talk and just you know random shit so hope you guys enjoyed this video it's been a minute since i filmed a sit down video so i was really excited to do this one um yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i love you guys so much and i will see you guys um yeah and y'all do not talk about my shirt okay because my mama bought me this shirt for christmas <laughs> She is so cute. She bought me this shirt for Christmas. So it's gonna be my new make doing my makeup shirt. You know what I'm saying? So I know that if she see me wearing this on a video, it will make her very happy. So mama, I know you be watching my stuff. So hey girl, thank you for the shirt, okay? Period. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get into the video. Before we get into it, make sure you like and subscribe. I ain't gonna say comment yet, because you know you gotta watch the thing before you comment. But yeah, y'all, y'all should start y'all should try commenting while you're watching. I think I like to comment on videos while I watch and I be leaving longer as comments on people's videos, but it's only because I'm commenting while I'm watching. But anyways, so oh my god, hey y'all. I have not done a sit-down video and I don't know how freaking long. I just haven't done one because I just haven't. I don't know. Like, I just haven't really had the time. Vlogging has just been so much easier for me. Just so I can stay consistent. But today, y'all. What's today? Today's the 27th. And I called out of work today. Because I just couldn't do it. I said, I just want to film and just get my shit together. Because Christmas took my ass out. Okay? Like, just packing up my stuff. I'm going to talk to y'all about Christmas later. But just packing up my stuff. And just, like, buying gifts. And just having gift wrapping paper and bags and receipts and shit just everywhere and just i don't know just trying to get ready for christmas because we didn't spend christmas at my house my family we um actually rented out an airbnb like a three-story condo airbnb to have like a christmas party at so yeah and just doing all of that i just needed some time to recover like oh my goodness i don't know because christmas was just a lot like I don't think I've ever had this much of an eventful Christmas in a long time. Well, last year we went to Atlanta, but just, I don't know, just cooking and just, I'm just tired. Like, I'm still full. Like, I feel like this may be a little TMI, but I feel like I'm still shitting out Christmas food. Like, <laughs> I'm not even playing. So, yeah. So, I just needed some time to just, like, get it back on track. You know what I'm saying? I may go in tonight um because there is some open shifts available i doubt i will i think i just want to start fresh next week like next week we're gonna start fresh we're going hard we may do a little overtime all that good shit for like new year's because you know new year's cake it's gonna be lit but <laughs> i just could not but oh my god sis bro how was y'all christmas let me know in the comments down below what did you do how was it did any drama happen did any like family drama happen was it all good vibes did you eat good did you drink good like christmas was really good for me this year i this was probably one of my favorite christmases except for last year when i went to atlanta like when i went to atlanta atlanta just changed my life but this was the first year that i was just around like all of my family at one time pretty much because my like extended family we don't really talk to each other it's more of like my immediate family so like my mom dad my sisters um and then like my nieces from my older sister that's kind of like our little unit it used to be my grandmother but you know she's no longer with me but um yeah so that's pretty much like all i have when it comes to like just family family so the fact that we all was together and everybody contributed, like like I said, we um, ran out of Airbnb because my house is just not like a house that you can have guests in. It's just not set up like that. Um, I know that sounds weird, but if you saw my house, you would understand. But um, yeah, it's just not somewhere where you can have guests and it just, we didn't have enough room um, for everybody. So. I had the idea to like okay like i i didn't want to go on a trip because we usually do christmas trips last year we went to atlanta the year before they went to um new york i didn't go because i had to work and last year i went to atlanta and basically lost my job so 
I told um I told my mom, so I told my mom, I was like, Mom, I know you wanna go on a Christmas trip, but I think she wanna do it to Cali this year. I said, I know we do Christmas trips, but can we just like have like a traditional Christmas? I need food, I need Christmas decorations, I need all of that. Cause we haven't had that in years, like we haven't had that in years. I said, let's just run out of Airbnb, invite everybody over, and let's just do that. So that's what we did, and it was so much fun. Y'all, I was lit all motherfucking day, okay? But it was just so much fun. Food was good. All the food came out good. You know what I'm saying? Nothing was nasty. I mean, I guess nothing would be nasty because I guess it's my people. But I don't know. It just was positive vibes. Um, I, It's this girl I used to play with when I was younger. And I knew she looked familiar. It's like my... He's not my uncle, but he been knowing my daddy for a long time, so I used to call him uncle, but his daughter came over, and I, like, recognized her, but I didn't, and me and her, like, kind of got cool, because we used to play together when we were kids, but, you know, when you grow up in life and just start doing your own thing, you know, you lose track of those people, but we reconnected, which was really cool, and I don't know, it was just good vibes, like, I changed literally all day that day, like, I had so many outfits for every occasion, because I'm, like, a very festive person, like, I love Christmas when Halloween comes around, I, I don't really get into, like, Halloween like that, like, like, get into it, but I'm just really festive, like, I like themed shit, so... Yeah, I changed about five, six times <laughs> that day. And it just was a great day. It was just a good vibe. So, yeah, Christmas was really good. I'm going to remember this Christmas for a long time. But it's so crazy because, like, you know, I told you guys, my grandmother passed away. She passed away in 2014. And it's like, lately, I've been thinking about her so much. Like, she's just been on my mind heavy, like, every day. And it could be because it's the holidays. But... Like I said, we haven't had a traditional Christmas in a minute. So I don't even remember like Christmas with her because she was, my grandmother was kind of young. She was like, I think she died at, I know it's bad, I don't remember the age she died at, but I think she was 65 or pushing 65. 65 or pushing 65. And not like, and my grandmother, she could, like my granny, she could cook and all of that shit, but she wasn't the type to cook like, I don't know how to describe it. My great grandmother, she was the type when you come over the house and she got all the shit spread out, laid out, all of that. My grandmother, she was more like, she was like, she was just like me. Like she just, she was like the bougie grandma. Like you know you have the bougie aunt. She was the bougie grandma. So I don't know. Like I feel like when I feel like now that I'm getting older. I'm becoming more and more like her. And I just see it in like my facial expressions. I see it in the way I carry myself sometimes. The way I think sometimes. I'm just like, Granny, like, chill, girl. Like, dang. But I love my grandmother so much. I've been <laughs> this is the second time I've talked to her. Like in my last vlog that I talked in my last vlog, I talked about her. And in this video, I'm talking about her. Like, I don't know. I just miss Granny so much. Okay. So I'm letting my concealer dry for a little bit. So while I'm letting it dry, you know, what did you guys get for Christmas? Like, what was your favorite gift if you got anything? Um, I got a couple things. My favorite gift was this, uh, was a Starbucks gift card. Cause I love Starbucks. Um, my little sister got me, I have like those, you know, Calvin Klein panty and bra like sets. I collect, kind of collect those. So she bought me some of those. Um, the colorway that she got was so fire. Like, oh my God, y'all want news? Y'all want a picture? Let me know, I'll give you my number and I'll slide you some. My mom got me a new like mirror. Cause I just been using like this regular like circle one, but she got me one with like the lights and shit. So um, that was nice. Oh, y'all, so it's the 27th. Y'all, 2020 is coming. Like, how do y'all feel? Are y'all feeling good about 2020? I feel like anytime a year comes up, no one puts it out that they feel like this is going to be a bad year. But, I mean, I feel like 2020 is going to be a great year. I feel like the things that are happening for me and things that I'm putting in place for myself um, is going to really, like, manifest out really cute, really beautifully in 2020. Um, like, I don't really have any particular 2020 goals. It's just kind of me perfecting and building on what I already started, honestly and truly. Like, you know, things that I did accomplish in 2019 
to keep those things going to protect those things and just to make them better so that's really like when it comes to my 2020 which is why i feel like it's going to be such a good year because i've already started you know what i'm saying like before 2020 came i've already started so she i feel like 2020 gonna be cool for me so but if you guys have not thought about you guys 2020 goals you know it's the 27th i highly recommend you guys do don't procrastinate on it i tell y'all all the time on my channel to write that vision out make it plain tell god what you want tell the universe what you want whatever you believe in and go get that shit. and let me tell you something now i'm not gonna get into too much 2020 talk because it's not the 2020 video but let me tell you something Faith without work is dead, bitch, okay? It's dead. Nothing's gonna happen if you don't get off your ass. <laughs> for real, oh, I need help you. But for real, nothing gonna happen for you unless you get off your ass, okay? Um, and I'm, I'm only telling you guys this just from experience. You can watch videos of people doing what you wanna do. Like, it's really true. You can either do what you wanna do or watch it be done. And that's just period. So, you know, whatever goals you guys have, no matter if it, it don't have to be YouTube, it don't have to be, it don't have to be like starting a business or, you know, cause I feel like everybody's on this entrepreneur wave, which is not an issue. Baby, black money, let's all get the coin, okay, period. But just whatever it is, even if it's small, like, do the work like that's just all i have to say just make sure when you making all these goals and you making vision boards and you doing all of this make sure you do the work behind okay guys so i'm about to move on to liner this is like my favorite part of like this makeup look so i'm gonna be using the fenty beauty uh white liner it came in like that set when she came out with her liners and i'm just gonna draw me a wing now <clears throat> I like to draw my wings with this liner pretty thick because I like to wear really thick lashes with this look. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get to it. I ain't gonna do too much talking because um I can't. <laughs> so yeah. Y'all, I got some liner up here, but I'm gonna fix it. <laughs> but, okay. I think I'm gonna leave that like that for right now. And I'm gonna go over it once it dries. Cause I like this liner, um, or whatever. The Fenty liner is, is cute, but they're not, as they're not as opaque as I feel like they could be. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, guys, so I applied my white liner. I applied it really thick because when I put on the lashes, um, you want to still be able to see it like all throughout but yeah i'm just so addicted to this look and i think this would be so cute to wear like on a first date because like you gotta just bring attention to your eyes like when he looking at you you like he like damn like what am i looking at like you know men are stupid so you know like damn like what am i looking at it's just something about your eyes <laughs> i don't know <laughs> whatever but yeah i think this is cute you know add a little razzle dazzle you're like boo i'm not like the rest you know you probably go out with bitches that do black wings but bitch i'm here with white wings okay you've met you know the best thing that's ever happened to you okay period so i'm gonna use the 3d i ripped this box the fuck up the 3d mint slash this is the number m811 do i even have glue in here with me i do okay let's get this party cracking but this is how they look there you go that's how they look these are my babies i really like these okay so after i applied my lash i'm gonna go over the white liner again because um i feel like the liner can just get lost with trying to apply the glue i'm a little messy so you know it could just be me and then i kind of need to make the line thicker because like i said it's a thick as you can see like right here you see the white liner peeking through but over here it got kind of lost so we need to like 
rein reimburse reinforce <laughs> reinforce this uh liner so i'm just going over it again to make it wider and a little thicker because like i told you that fancy liner it's good but it's not like opaque so you have to go over it twice like after it dries because if you're trying to go over it while it's wet it just like mixes around and it doesn't you know what i'm saying hopefully y'all know what i'm saying oh so, um just i'm about to finish off the face and finish off my eyes so i'm gonna take this gold highlighter shade from um my contour palette and i'm just gonna pop that in my tear duct um just to give me some extraness like i said today i guess it's really just all about the eyes and i feel like when you're on a date like and when you're looking at somebody you need a party for them to look at so <laughs> that's what i'm trying to create here a whole party for them then we're gonna highlight the brow bone because we love a nice crispy brow bone highlight you guys i got my nails done recently and this is the first time i've gotten my nails done in a year because I just cut my nails out of my budget because I just felt like it was other things that I could spend my money on. And I didn't, not that I did not have the money to get my nails done, I just chose to spend it on, spend that money on other things like, you know, content, um, you know, just other shit. So I cut getting my nails done out, but I finally got my nails done again. This is what they look like. They're just really like transparent pink nails. I wanted to like dive back into it a little lightly before I went crazy like I used to do. But um, I, I don't even think I can really have nails like that because it's just where I work. So, you know, I have to grow up, I guess, and get a little sophisticated. I don't mind, but it felt so good when he was putting this acrylic on my nails like, ooh child about to have his baby i ain't even gonna flex so i'm gonna add a little bit of glitter but i'm just gonna do like glitter dots like you know how um like in euphoria they have like you know they the dots with the jewels and stuff i'm gonna do that but i'm gonna do that with glitter so i'm just gonna take my nyx mixing medium and just apply some of that so like directly under my pupils and this has just been my favorite thing. Oh my God, with the white liner. I just think it's so freaking cute. So, and you see how that just added something extra. And then like I said, you know, if you're on your date or whatever, you gotta give them a party to look at. So, yeah, he's gonna be looking like, man, it's just something about your eyes. You know, it's just something about them. I'm like, yes, boom, you're looking into your future. And that's just that. Okay, so I'm about to get started on my hair. I think I'm just gonna straighten it. Um, you know, nice little sleek, straight, whatever, whatever. Oh, I need to spray my face and I need to put on some lipstick. Okay, wait. Let's rewind real quick. <laughs> so for lips, um, I think I'm gonna just do this nude. I don't wanna do too much. I feel like when you're going on a date and especially when you're like talking and eating and stuff, I never wanna do like bold, dark lip colors because you know, you, you want stuff that I feel like wears away pretty. So, you know, nice glosses, nice nudes, nothing that gives you like booty lips or like, you know, like red and stuff like when you're eating and it's on a fork and stuff. Like I made that mistake before, so let's not do that. But I don't have a brown lip liner. <laughs> so I'm going to take this brown out of my contour palette and line my lips. And then for liquid lipstick, I'm going to use this um, NYX lip lingerie. I do not know the color. Hold on. Let's try it off. Oh, hold on. Let me get y'all the color. Okay. The name of it is called Push Up. That's the name. So I'm taking my, lips, uh, my NYX lip lingerie in the color Push Up. I was gonna dab. I remember when these first came out, YouTube went crazy. I'm putting the center on my lips. So I'm gonna take, alright, so I'm gonna take some of my Bio Silk oil and just put a little bit of this in my hair. Y'all, this hair that I'm wearing is actually some beauty supply store bundles. Some of it is like some old she's happy hair, <laughs> but then majority of it is some beauty spot store bundles and they're actually pretty good. The quality isn't like great. It's not great, but I would imagine, 
because I've never, I've only ordered hair off of AliExpress one time. And this when I was in high school. Like before AliExpress bundles like was a thing, I used to order off them. But then, then when it became a thing and you know, they had to start, you know, making more quantity of stuff. You know, when they have to start making more quantity of shit, that's when it gets trashed. As far as it being good hair, you know, it works. So. I'll continue to update you guys like on my hair just throughout my videos it will it will never be like a separate you know like hair video but if you just watch my shit if you you know watch my vlogs watch get my get ready with me's or whatever um I'll definitely update you guys on the hair so I'm pretty much done flat ironing it this like part of my leave out like will not just get like silky for some reason I don't know what the fuck I have to do and I don't want to oil it down too much I don't know child but I've been kind of into not doing the little middle part like swoop I haven't been doing that lately not saying I won't ever do it again but I haven't really been into it so I'm not gonna do it today I'm gonna kind of just leave my hair as is get this, this leave out together though Cause it need to be a little more slick than this. But oh, it's so soft though. I haven't curled this hair yet. I've only worn it straight. So I may curl it this weekend or something. Do my crimps. And I know it takes, if the guy didn't mess it up, it takes like heat good when it comes to crimps. Okay, so I'm about to go change into my little date outfit. And then, oh God. I'm about to go change into my little date outfit. And then, um, yeah, we're gonna close this thing out. Okay, guys, so I got my outfit on, so I'm gonna show y'all real quick. So I just got on this um, turtleneck from Forever 21. It's like the mesh see-through. I think this would be cute for a date, you know what I'm saying? You're not showing too much, but you're like, yeah, it's all there, baby. You know what I'm saying? You're giving them them type of vibes. I just snatched my earring out. <laughs> um, I'm wearing just some regular hoops. Um, and then my silver cross necklace that I just never take off. And then I have on this jean skirt. And then I have on this jean skirt. And then I have on these um like little stockings. I may distress them because I think that that's a really cute look. But yeah. So I have on the jean stock stocking. So it's kind of like a like a bodysuit. Like if this was like a jumpsuit thing, and I just added the um the jean skirt as like a little contrast to it. So yeah, and then I'm just gonna wear them with these boots got the little heel on them nice and casual so you know you never know where you may be going if you're gonna be walking a lot you need something comfortable but you know you're a bad bitch so you know we're gonna add a little heel to it right right so yeah that's pretty much it we're ready for our date you know y'all i told y'all this lash was not on that's why it's crooked oh my god okay i'm gonna fix it <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah so we're ready for our date i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys liked it don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all so, so much. Um, if this is my last video before 2020, thank you so much for everybody that subscribed to me this year. People that's been subscribed, thank you for rocking with me. We're going to 2020. We're going to be lit. I love y'all so much. And all that good shit. I hope you guys have a blessed and safe New Year's. Tee the fuck up, bitch. Turn up. You're going to church. Praise God. Pray for me. I pray for you. I'm not sure what my New Year's plans are. I think I'm going to go to church and I'm going to go out. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, just be safe. I want to see all y'all make it to 2020. And we finna rock this shit out. Don't forget to write down your goals. Don't forget to manifest. Don't forget to pray. Don't forget to put the work in today. Don't forget to start right now. Okay? Love you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all. Mwah. And I've just been doing it.